Hiding your art from your mother? What happened to mommy? Look what I made. Mom, I was five. Uh, Mom, do you think my perspective is off? You weren't five then. Well, maybe I'm not ready to talk about this one yet. That's not what you wanted to talk about anyway, is it? You're right. It's not. Well, I know what you're going to ask. So I'll tell you everything. Dad? Doctor? What was that oath? First, do no harm. So what do you call these injuries? Lacerations, hematoma? I call it my business and not yours. You know what? A woman-hating pimp gets beat down. The perp matches your description. That's my business, Frankie. Hey, hey, he came to our house, was in your wife's face, and jumped on my sister. He got Fletcher a warning. Fletcher was not after your sister. Oh, was he just dogging her every move? It was one of my men from the force. <sighs> Wait, you, you, you put a tail on Cass? He was supposed to keep an eye on her. Yeah, Make well, sure she was safe. Yeah, well, he scared the hell out of and her. And he got his ass handed to him. I screwed up. I screwed up bad. All right? And then you come along, you screw up even more! You know what? It doesn't matter. Fletcher thought he was untouchable, and now he knows better. You risked your job. You risked your freedom. You risked your license. For no reason, Frankie! You want a reason? Her name is Randy, and guess what? I don't have any regrets. I got none. Turning pager off. I'm all yours. You don't have to do that, Mom. It's not going to take that long. OK, um, well, first of all, I haven't picked a major yet. I know it's not going to be pre-med, though. Um, I like hanging out with Colby, but I know I don't have to do it 24-7. And yes, Jay and I are getting closer, but nothing like that is happening, so don't worry. And if you never want to ask me again, that's cool, too. You know, we could kind of get beyond that. <laughs> that's, um... Thank you for telling me. Cool. So turn your pager back on. There's no more to tell. Well, honey, there is uh, more that I, I need to tell you. OK, sorry. Go ahead. It's, um... It's important that you know how much we love you and, and want you to be safe. Who's we? What are you trying to say? I'm, I'm saying that you are very, very special to Jesse. You know, I, I think about that um, poem that he left for you before the wedding, that jewelry. And wh who was that poet again? Her name's Anais Nin, but what's going on? You, you don't have to be scared of that pimp, Fletcher. He, he's, he wasn't the one that was following you. How do you know that? And the man that you saw meant you no harm. Uh, honey, he was a cop. And uh, he just got his orders confused. Orders? From who? Jesse had me followed? So you beat Fletcher up for this girl. What, what is what is she to you? What, what's going on? She's got your nose wide open. How deep does it go? Y'all doing a do? Wow. Really? Wow. You gonna come at me like that? Really? Just trying to figure out the relationship, trying to understand the dynamic. Help me out. Bottom line, you have your justice and I have mine. We'll see which one keeps that pimp away from Randy. Listen, do I need to take you down to the station? Because either here or there, you will talk to me. Oh, well, look, Chief, do your job. Cuff me. Take me down for the perp walk, whatever. Otherwise, you're just talking, and I ain't really trying to hear it. Is my phone tapped? Have you been listening in? Would we have heard something you didn't want us to know? No. God, I told you. Why did you stop trusting me? Of course I trust you. No, you don't. Because you're questioning me right now, aren't you? It's like you work for Jesse now? I know this may be upsetting, honey. My own stepfather had a tail on me, like I'm some kind of criminal. It was a mistake. This was about your safety. 
Papel is history. Unless there's something else you're not telling me. No, I'm not keeping anything from you. Now, can you say the same? Because something isn't right, and you can't lie to me because I know you too well. Um, no, you can't do that. No, stop. Stop it. This is what's in your head? Why, Cassandra? Did you tell Jesse he crossed the line? Or did you just say, baby, it's okay. You know, I'm so glad you're alive, like you always do. Look around, Dad. This is my office, where I work. And you come in here huffing and puffing like you the man in charge. Oh, I thought your work was swooping in and stomping pimps. When Fletcher stops beating up on women, then I'll go back to my day job, okay? Well, tell me this, Dr. Day Job. Is Randy any safer now that you've taught Fletcher a lesson? You think he's going to slink away under a rock, leave you alone? Well, maybe now he'll know better than to mess with you. So maybe he'll just take it out on her. I hear you. Can you look at me when you say that, please? I hear you. Loud and clear. Now I have to go back and kill him. <laughs> 